Hello and welcome back to an architecture tour of Half-Life 2. I am Simon and we are near the beginning of episode 2. Uh, we've been through a little bit of storytelling. Alex has been critically injured and uh, we are in a mine. Um, the Vortigaunt has taken Alex, or rescued her I guess. Let's see, what are we doing here? Uh, I have this. There does not as does not seem to be zombies. Let's see. Lifts uh, a shed of some sort. Hmm. Interesting. The lift doesn't go very far. And it's also hand operated. Which is unusual. Oops. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Press the wrong button. Anyway, let's go back up. So, uh, that's pretty cool. You know, we got lift mechanisms and all that, except... Yeah, like, this lift doesn't really go very far. We went down a lift, across, and now we're going up a lift. And then we're going down again, so, uh... Slightly... Strange. This. And you'll see a new type of ant lion that we haven't encountered before up there. And you can hear them down there as well. That's kind of strange actually, this this little room here. Doesn't seem to serve any purpose. Let's um get rid of him. Where did he go? Ah, that's interesting. Anyway. So, uh... Yeah, you know, like, there's no... <laughs> there's no gate here. Or it doesn't open up. It's very strange. Minecarts without... Tracks. It's a little odd. Although, you know, I mean, I guess... I, uh, I'm not 100% sure if there's any point to that, actually. Because I don't think there's any other lifts like that, apart from that one. So uh, I guess it's a bit of a puzzle. Head crabs. You can hear them. Everything's falling apart. Somewhat unusual. This, I mean, it's not a lift, and it's not, you know, it's not really anything. And everything's broken, so supposedly it's sealed up. Originally, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if that makes any sense. That little bit, but um, yeah, ant line grubs and ant line tunnels. These things drop health. 
If you kill them. So this is a new environment, right, these antlion tunnels, and this white shiny stuff, I guess it's something organic, and these webbings and all that. Kind of gross, really. Uh, Not all of them are breakable. I mean, I think the end lines are... Are they able to run on walls? Actually, I don't think they are. They can fly short distances, though. So, uh, it's strangely convenient that it's so easy for us to navigate. I mean, you almost expect them to just build their nest so that they'll need to be able to fly to get to places. Anyway, that's our new enemy. A new antlion type. And they do spit acid things. Ouch. Huh, ah, so we're back in the mine, although... You know, the antlions really have taken over. There's not too much to say about architecture. I mean, except to repeat the, the earlier observation that... This mine, you know, is really much more detailed than the previous one at the end of Raven Hall. Let's say, I'm not sure. Although it's fairly old, I guess. Might be from the Soviet era, judging by the font and then the and the logo. Not sure though. for that. I guess I'll use that. You know, and the mine is structurally sound as well. You can see all these support beams and everything holding things up. Very convincing. That's good. I 